Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you something that I really do enjoy doing. And that is people sketching. Drawing out like real life people. And yes, I will say that I do accentuate, you know, the eccentricities of these people. You know, but that's that's what art is all about. Is that you look at somebody, you see the shape of their face, you see the shape of their body, the way that they walk, the way that they move, you know, and the way that their hands are going, and you accentuate them. Now, I will say that I may have accentuated some aspects of this person, and and I may have dulled down others, you know, because I, I didn't want to... Uh, you know, poke fun at anybody to, like, really make it a, a staple of, you know, I'm making a mockery of these people because I'm definitely not doing that. I, I am looking at somebody and I am enjoying their eccentricities. I am enjoying their colorful life that they live to go out and be who they want to be. And as boring as they may be, because I don't always draw people that are as, um, are as, you know, colorful as others. I may just draw somebody that is, you know, your plain old, you know, Joe across the street. But when I see them, they may be in an odd posture. They may just be on a down day and having, you know, just the slumped shoulders and, and everything else. And they're just not having a good day. And I look at that though. And I see, Ooh, that's an interesting shape. And that's an interesting person. I wonder what their story is. And then I try to go home because I can't sketch them right then and there. Cause usually when I'm out, I'm out with my family and my kids and, and it's usually, you know, trying to look at them and see what they're touching and getting into, <laughs> rather than, oh, hold on, let me get out my sketchbook and quickly sketch this person. So I don't really have time to do that, but I try to go home and think about the the shape of the person, the way that they were acting, the way that they were talking and, you know, moving their hands or, you know, walking, all those different things I'm trying to look at and capture when I come home and sketch them. Now... This person that I am sketching today is actually somebody that I, I know, and I normally don't sketch people that I know, but I've always, since the first time that I met him, wanted to draw him. And I just, I never really had time to do it, because when my wife and I first moved in to our apartment, or when I moved in with her, in her apartment, she used to live near this gentleman, and he was our next door neighbor. And, you know, we would sit and chat on our porches and, you know, and whatnot. And so he was a very, very nice man, and I actually know him. And a lot of people actually do know of him where I live. And for obvious reasons, because of his eccentricities. But he is a very, very nice man, and I am not drawing him to make fun of him, or to ridicule, or, you know, to be mean. I am drawing him to celebrate him. To celebrate, you know, all the people in this world that make it interesting. Because these are the people that make our world interesting. Now, this man, he would always, he would always have I, I love, you know, different shoes, and I do have some, like, pointed-toed shoes that, you know, have a little bit of a pattern on them, and so I do like to to wear those, and they have a little bit of a, you know, a heel, because they are a dress shoe, but, you know, this man, he had shoes. My goodness, did he have shoes. Shoes with fur, shoes with skin, shoes you know, that are this color, shoes that are that color. I loved it, and I wish that I would have drawn him when I was doing my sketch full body, because I didn't even think about that when I was drawing him. I was just worried about getting, you know, his hair and the, the shape and everything else just, you know, perfectly right. And then I got onto the hands and hands always frustrate me. And so I'm just like, ah, I'm done. I'm done drawing because I have to do hands. <laughs> and I used to draw hands always like behind people or just 
disappeared. <laughs> like there's some type of magician and just ugh, pfft, they don't have one anymore. But I, I've stopped doing that because I like the challenge and I want to get better at it. So I, I was I wish that I would have drawn him with his shoes. But he would always wear like a button down dress shirt with the collar popped. And I don't know why I didn't draw with the collar popped. But he would have the collar popped and like his dress shirt tucked in to his shorts. And like when he would wear shorts, they were always very short. Very short shorts for a man. They were very short. And, you know, he'd have like these dress shoes on and, and his hair all done up and whatnot with the little wisp in front of his face and over one eye. And, and he had this mustache and it was just this thin little wisp of a, of a mustache and, and a little soul patch. Now I've always wondered if you're going to take the time to trim it and everything. Why not have like a real mustache? Because it was just this thin little line and this little tiny patch. But you know what? He loved it. He sported it. And he went out through his day and, you know, w- was being him. And I loved it. So <laughs> I I do encourage people to look at people, not to make fun of them, but just to see their shapes and, you know, the different types of people that are within our world that are populating our world around us. Because there are very, very interesting people. And even getting to know those interesting people is even better. Because they have, like, the best stories in the world. So, with that being said, the reason why I really wanted to have this kind of segment on my channel is because I'm a huge fan of Will Terrell. Now, he is a a YouTube artist and an artist in general. And I would always love to support artists. And so I'm going to link his channel in the description. Definitely take a look at him because he does people sketching to the point to where I wish I could do what he does because he not only sketches somebody, but in the story that he is saying of like where he met this person, where he was, he really does capture their, their attitude, their essence, their being, their personality, you know, he, he captures all of that and it's a flat drawing on a piece of paper. And how you do that just amazes me. And I know I'm more than likely probably didn't do this with this particular drawing, but I hope to one day get to that point. So definitely check him out and I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching.